The Red Raiders open up Big 12 play down in Austin against the number 20 Texas Longhorns. Can Texas Tech improve to 1-0 in Big 12 play in year number one of the Grant McCaslin era? We'll preview the game, look at the odds, and give her predictions later on in the video. Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's R.C. Maxfield here for the Back to 12 podcast. If you haven't already, you should have liked the video, hit that subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell to stay in the know on everything Texas Tech men's basketball on the hardwood this season. We'll be giving you game previews, film breakdowns, and much more. So join the most engaging Texas Tech community here on YouTube and hit that subscribe button. All right, let's jump into this. But before we do, I want to hear from you guys. Let me know your score prediction down on the pinned comment below for Texas Tech at number 20, Texas. It's a pretty big rivalry, I would say, in the Big 12, specifically on the hardwood. What's your gut reaction in terms of, hey, what's the score that comes to your head first right away? Let me know down on the pinned comment below your score prediction for Texas Tech at number 20, Texas. All right, let's set the scene a little bit as the Red Raiders will head down and play in the Moody Center at 7 p.m. on Saturday night, and we've got Fran the Man on the call. I always love it when Fran Fraschilla is calling games, regardless of if Texas Tech is playing in that Big 12 game or not. He's just simply one of the best. And then you've got Rich Hollenberg as the play-by-play -play guy there on ESPN2. Now, a little bit of history between Texas Tech, and when I say a little bit, I mean this is the 156th matchup all time on the hardwood for the men's basketball programs from Texas Tech in Texas. Texas owns the all-time record with a record of 89 and 66. Now Texas Tech has won 15 of the last or 10 of the last 15 matchups, excuse me, against the Longhorns coming into this season in four of the last five down in Austin. Now it's a little interesting for Texas Tech going to play the number 20 team because if you look at bracketology, Ken Palm, whatever it may be, whatever your favorite side is, Haslam metrics, it's a little interesting to see a number 20 next to the Texas Longhorns, and that's not a dig or anything like that. I understand it's the AP poll and voters. It's just when you look at bracketology, Texas is closer to the bubble than they are a firm lock. But regardless, Ken Palm has the Red Raiders as the 37th best team in college basketball with Texas as the 31st best team in college basketball. Now, some players to watch going into this one. Obviously, Pop Isaacs is a guy that leads the Red Raiders in scoring. And then you've got Warren Washington as well, the guy that leads the Red Raiders in rebounding in this one at 8.4 per game. It's going to be interesting, and we'll talk about the matchup to watch later on. Warren Washington is going to be firmly involved in that one. You've got Joe Tucson, who is the floor general for the Red Raiders. He's averaging 14 points per game, two rebounds, three assists on their year, and really creates a lot of the spacing that has helped Texas Tech elevate their shooting. And a guy that has benefited a lot and is arguably the, I don't know, most efficient player in the Big 12 right now is Kerwin Walton. And that's the other guy that we're going to talk about here. Texas Tech is 8-0 this season. This from Ryan Mainville of Gambling Gauchos. When Kerwin Walton has played 10 minutes or more, among all Big 12 players who have played 30% plus of their team's minutes, Kerwin Walton has the highest offensive rating by an absurd margin of 15.2 points per 100 possessions. That is absolutely sick. He is critical for this Texas Tech offense and has really stepped up after Devin Cambridge has gotten hurt. He's going to be very, very important for the Red Raiders in terms of He's going to have to knock down shots, and it feels like one of those situations where if Kerwin can maybe make three or four threes, that elevates the Red Raiders' chances significantly of pulling off the upset down in Austin. Some names you need to know for the Longhorns if you're a Texas Tech fan. Max Aidsmith, you may know that name. He started at Oral Roberts, actually went on a run in the NCAA tournament with the former Red Raider, Kevin O'Banner, who is now playing in the G League for the Raptors, but He's the point guard for the Longhorns. He's averaging 17 points per game, three rebounds, four assists, while shooting 38% from three. And he is really the guy that makes everything go uh, for the Longhorns down in Austin. Now, a guy that is just absurdly talented, a guy that was a very highly ranked recruit coming out of high school, came back for his sophomore season down in Austin, is Dylan Mitchell. He's the leading rebounder for the Longhorns with 9.3 per game and really just a super athletic guy that really mucks things up and does a lot of the dirty work for the Longhorns. He's a guy that's really elevated his game 
in his second year in college basketball and will be a guy that the Texas Tech Red Raiders need to know where he's at at all times. A new guy down in Austin is Caden Shedrick. He transferred in from Virginia. He's a big, a 6'11 big, and he is averaging just under 12 points a game for the Longhorns. And now they've got two really good bigs with Dylan DeSubak, and then you've got Shedrick as well. Terry's got some options there in the front court, right? For Texas Tech, there's really only one guy in terms of traditional big from a size perspective, and that's Warren Washington. Warren Washington is going to have his hands full with these two and Shedrick and DeSue in the front court for the Longhorns, and that leads right up into the matchup to watch for this one for the Red Raiders. I understand. I'm Captain Obvious here. That's fine. Whatever you want to say. Rebounding. Everyone in the Big 12 has a positive rebounding differential so far this year. Something's got to give, right? Texas Tech, they have one traditional big, as I mentioned, in Warren Washington. That doesn't mean you can't bring guys in like Robert Jennings or Kyron Lindsey, but you haven't seen a lot of those guys, right? Warren Washington is the big for Texas Tech, and then they've gone small. How does that impact the Red Raiders on the boards? If Texas Tech can keep the rebounding margin within the, I don't know, four to seven range, really more four to six range, I think their chances of winning drastically increase. But that's going to be much easier said than done with two really good bigs in the Longhorns front court. And you can't allow Warren Washington to get into foul trouble. If he gets into foul trouble, this game could get ugly really, really quickly when it comes to rebounding. And if you give the Longhorns more chances, specifically Max at the point guard position, look out. It could, it, it could get bad there for Texas Tech. That being said, let's get into the odds. Texas, according to BetMGM, is one and a half point favorites in this one with a total over under set at 140 points even. I have Texas winning this one. 74-72. I think Texas Tech keeps it close because when it's all said and done, I think Texas Tech in the three-point shooting will keep the Red Raiders in this to the very end, whether that's Isaacs, Walton, McMillan, Williams, whoever it may be, I think Texas Tech stays in this one with the three-point shooting and really, really alleviates those turnovers so they can be efficient and capitalize on the opportunities that they create in transition or through the spacing aspect that Grant McCaslin has really changed up his whole philosophy from what we've seen at North Texas, where he was a defensive guy. Now it's more offensive heavy, and that's the sign of a truly great head coach, changing your philosophy and putting your players in the best position to succeed in terms of what is working best for them. And Grant McCaslin has done just that so far in year number one out in the 806. But now the true test begins for the Red Raiders as they open things up in the Big 12, down in Austin against a top 20 Texas Longhorns team. One more time, let me know your score prediction down on the pinned comment below for Texas Tech at number 20 Texas. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button to join the most engaging Texas Tech community here on YouTube. Oh, and by the way, the fastest growing as well. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button to stay in the know right here on the Back to 12 podcast channel.